don't put away your decorations. Christmas isn't over just yet. Christ is born. The season is just beginning. After weeks of fasting and penance in the season of Advent, it is time to celebrate the Lamb of God, Jesus. The first moments of Christmas begin the wee hours of the morning at midnight. The perfect way to celebrate Christmas is with Christ's Mass. Then the celebration continues with family parties and get-togethers, but it's not over in just one day. Then we have the Christmas Octave. That is eight days of celebrating. There is so many ways to celebrate. Getting good food with friends, going to daily Mass, and celebrating Christ's Mass every day. Visiting Jesus truly present in the Most Holy Sacrament, either in your parish church or in the Blessed Sacrament in Adoration Chapel. You can watch family movies like It's a Wonderful Life while eating delicious desserts, or home-cooked family meals, or going out to a lunch date with Jesus. Hey guys, this is my friend Jessica. Hello. <laughs> what day is it today? Day number six. Christmas day number six, and how are we celebrating? Latin mass and dinner. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Each octave day is another Christmas day, the eighth day being the highest day of celebration. On the eighth day of the Christmas octave, we have the Solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God. This is on January 1st, a holy day of obligation, celebrating the motherhood of Mary. The Christmas celebration continues into the 12th day of Christmas, which is the Epiphany. There is many ways to celebrate the Epiphany. Parishioners can get blessed chalk to bless their homes, you can bake or pick up at the store a Three Kings cake. Hey guys, today is the Feast of the Epiphany and to celebrate, I'm going over to a family's friend's house. Let's go inside. Today, on the 12th day of Christmas, we celebrate the Three Kings. The strongest and most powerful thing you can do as a family is the Most Holy Rosary, bringing everyone together as you meditate on the mysteries of Christ. We can't forget about the King's cake though. Hidden inside one of these slices is the infant Jesus. What? Looks like the little one found it. Now it's time to bless the home with the Epiphany Chalk. The family gathers together and we start with a prayer. This is an annual tradition you can do each year. You write above your door the current year, and in between you write the three initials of the three kings' names. Then, traditionally on the 13th of January, we celebrate the Baptism of the Lord. For better or for worse, in the United States, the Feast of the Epiphany and the Baptism of the Lord can be moved to the closest Sunday, which changes these dates around each year. The Pope and the history of the Church continues to celebrate Christmas until the presentation of the Child Jesus in the Temple on February 2nd. The Vatican will keep its tree and nativity up until this date on February 2nd. Christmas is not over. Keep those Christmas trees up, keep the nativity sets up, and celebrate to the full. Feast well, because Lent is right around the corner.